Hi, this is Scott Marshman with eCabinets Tips and Tricks. The other day I had a question from someone. They were wanting to know if there was a way to change the door names that are in the Conestoga door listing. And actually there is. What you have to do is you have to create a new directory and save the door. Now the reason they were wanting to change the name of this door, in this particular case this is an arch raised panel door and the name is CRP30. Now that could be a little bit confusing to someone that's not familiar with the Conestoga door names. If you wanted to make this door a flat panel, the Conestoga doors in the standard library there, there is no flat panel cathedral or flat panel arch door. You have to choose either a CRP20, which is a cathedral, or a CRP30, which is an arch door, and go into Profiles and Beads and select a different panel rays, which would be this one right here, the reverse G-Cove 3 8 rays, which will then give you a flat panel door. Now, if you're building your doors in-house, you would select Build in-house, go to Details for Cut List, and change your parameters for your cut list details. For, for example, I use a 3 8 panel inset and zero perimeter machining allowance and I got a board stock set up and settings and preferences called full quarter maple. Now you cannot select a sheet stock. It has to be a board stock. So you will need to go into settings and preferences and your board stock and create a solid board stock material with the same name that you have set up as your sheet stock and your sheet stock listing in settings and preferences and then change your rail and style widths if you need to and then your arch height and of course your style and rail board stock which in my case is three quarter maple then you can save that click on save of course and create a new directory and the way you go about doing that is you just highlight this and type in a new name and then give your door a new name and just click save now I've already saved this so it's going to prompt me to override it and you can see there's my door and my new directory eCabinets eCab tips and you could create a whole new library just like I have right here I've got an arch flat panel arch glass arch four light six light nine light and arch raised panel and I did the same thing for my cathedral and my square doors. That'll wrap it up for this video. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, how about give me a thumbs up? And hey, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe so you can get all my latest tips and tricks. And as always, thank you for watching and have a good day.